All right, what is going on, everyone, and welcome back. So, episode two, we did the fast lane skip of the quests, and now we just have to do the rest of these, I believe. Let me see. What is that? Uh, let me see. So we did power level a little bit to 57. And, um, 25 transfer. Oh, so this basically allows you to transfer or connect to a normal server. I see. So yeah, we got to level 57. Here are the rewards. Well, I took a few, but here are some of them. I'm gonna take those now. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, oh this can only be used on a season server. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, ultimately it took me like less than an hour to get to 57. I just went to trees, the usual spot that everyone power levels at. Went there for a little under an hour. Ultimately, this seems like a fun class so far, Corsair. All right, reached level 20. Special growth. Who do we talk to? Black Spirit. Okay. level 30 so basically just taking all the rewards now um reach level 35 i think ultimately i think i'm going to take this character to 60 or 61, depending on what the rewards are. God, this feels so, like... It's... It's nice, just being able to do all this. Also, we gotta do the succession quest a little bit later. Also, yeah, for sure, I am going to um, make this my main sailor because it makes your boat faster and you can swim underwater, so that's awesome. That's what I'm going to do. I uh, might have to buy the coupon thingy, unfortunately, to transfer my um, sailing and bartering to another character, but that's not, like, that's not a big deal. All right, let's see, what is all this? Reach level 56. Reach level 57. I think the final one is at 58, so. As long as I don't, um, forfeit it, I think I'll be good. Yeah, so reach level 58. It's not a big deal. Easy. Get all this free goodies. Harpia? I think the Harpias are actually worth something. I don't think I'll sell it, but... Got some goodies. I think I'm gonna keep the Naru... This one in the storage, because the compass... 
I'm not sure if it gets the timer starts when you accept it or like when you press the button. Let's see, what do we get? Um, yeah, let's use all the inventory and slot thingies because we need them. Got 40 of those. That's pretty quick. We got the exchange coupons. That's important. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, let's go enhance some gear a little bit while we're at it. Don't worry, guys. Naru gear is basically free. Ah, that's actually pretty bad. Free. And then I think... I'm not sure if you have to do a certain quest for it, but... You turn this into Fugar. Once you get a Pen Naru, you change it into, I think, a Pry Tuvala. Uh, where is it? Armor. No. Oh, these are just a quest to... There was a way to convert it to Tuvala. I wonder if that's doing the Medaya quest line. Either way, it's not a big deal. We'll get it done eventually, so let's get full pen real quick. I say that like it's easy, but I still, I'm not sure how I feel about Naru gear. Because, like, when if you're an actual new player and you see these rates for enhancing, you're like, oh, God, this game is so easy. And then you get boss gear and it's not easy. Next. Hold on, let me actually turn off the, like, ding volume. Just so, because I know that's actually kind of annoying. You guys could just listen to calm background music and me talk. Oh my god, I'm failing. I just, I think I just failed like three times on a 70. Pry duo, pry duo. Ooh, boy, these boots are struggling. My guild must be seeing these spam messages like, you have enhanced this thingy. Just like, what are you doing? Why are you so bad at this game? Just don't fail. No! Stop. Let's go pen. No! It went all the way from Tet to Pry. 
These are supposed to be enhanced rates, and then this is about normal RNG. Oh, done. Uh, Naru weapon. Eventually, you turn these all into two Vala, so I'm not just doing this because I like enhancing. Pry duo, pry duo. Is there really 150 Kron stones to Kron and Narug? Yikes, dude. Just keep clicking it. Never Kron Narug here. I'm like even concerned that people actually cron um, Tuvala gear. Season offhand. Let's see. I think I need one of those. Uh. Oh, I just, I didn't know what it looked like. I do now. Can we get it in like 270 of these beginner stones? I hope so, dude. If I keep failing 54 percent Oh god, dude. I don't think we're making pen. Yep. Oh god. Enhancing. It's hard. Got a bunch of goodies, though. This out of my inventory. It's a lot of 10 stacks. This is what I like about the season. So let me go deposit a few things and then let's see if we can go do the succession quest. Or actually, maybe. Hold on, let me figure this out. Alright, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back. So, this is probably an edit. We're a few hours later. I actually had stuff to do. But, got our Corsair to 58. Um, in last episode, we talked about how we did the skip on, like, the season questing. And this time around, um, so since we did that, we're just going to turn in all these quests that we have. Like, for the season pass, all you have to do is grind and get, like, at level 58 or something. Then you can finish a lot of these. And this uh, also unlocks the um, season pass rewards. So that's what we're going to do. And then we'll check out, like, how far we actually got. Alright, let's see. Let's collect our season rewards. Honestly, I actually like this new system that they have more than the old one. Because before you would be forced... Well, not really forced. You kind of have to do all of this if you wanted um, the season rewards. Like playing through the main story. Some people like that, some people don't. 
I I don't mind questing, but when you've done it like 20 times, it's actually kind of tedious. So being able to just grind and get what you want, like, it's actually a lot more fun for me. So I'm glad this is a good change they added. They could have implemented it a little bit better and explained how it, uh, they didn't really give you a crossroad option. They just like, here, do you want to skip all of it? And I'm like, yeah, I'll just spam R. So I didn't, like, it took me a minute to figure it out. Exchange pen gear with Fugar for Tuvala gear. We did that earlier. Alright, Fugar. Change some pen gear. I think it gives you Pry Tuvala? Yeah. So we're probably gonna enhance a little bit of that. A lot of skill points, actually. What is this? Open the box to get a Pry Tuvala main. Really, dude? Oh. Wait, that box is... Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Where else? Right, what an old moon costume. Well, I don't actually need that. Let's take our rewards, though. Enhance a Tuvala ring to pry or higher, then equip it. Okay. Dang, dude, we got 59 conches. So what I did was, with the 40 I had first, um, I got the three Tuvala weapon exchange coupons. I, It's not as good as the other one, like the normal weapon exchange coupons, but for Tuvala, it's not bad. Like, let's say next season starts, and I just want to skip Naru and go straight to Pen without having to enhance. I could do that. So I'm probably going to keep these for a little bit. Uh, let's see. Enhance... Did this say enhance accessory or specific one? Ring. Okay. Ring. Wait, do you... You use the ring to enhance the other ring, right? Like, or do you use another material? Pretty sure it's ring to ring. Uh, I don't really want to use a 70 or 7 stack. Easy. Defeat 500 Waragons. We can pretty much force a duo. Wait, can you not enhance? Oh, I had equipped him. I thought I un unequipped it. Boy, that percent is just as bad. Alright, so what are we gonna do? We have to kill. 500 Waragons. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really even remember where those are. There's Calpheon or Altanova. I don't even remember what Waragons are. Uh oh. <laughs> That's concerning. I don't remember what. Waragons are. Either way, it's fine, I think. Oh, the old moon gives you a crystal. I'm pretty sure the one you go for is speed every time. Like, I'm not even joking. Speed costumes are the ways the ones to get. Um, let's see. 
I should go deposit some stuff. Also, did you know in today's patch notes, what they did was horses can go above level 30 now. However, um, they don't get any stats. You get like training XP, which is cool and all. But the reason why it goes from 31 to 100 is so at like a high enough level, monsters won't attack your horse, which is pretty good. I can leave them in the middle of a pack, they won't get attacked. But I'm pretty sure that requires like a high enough level. So for example, I, if I left it in the middle of the Doom grind spots, they're probably still gonna attack it until it's like level 100. Oh. Garmoth spawned. I have a character there, so it's not. I'm not concerned. I don't have to rush there. But there are a few things I wanna do real quick. Oh, I think there's double, double spawn today. And uh, overall, when I was grinding on uh, the Corsair earlier, it's actually pretty fun. Like, the skills are cool. Everything seemed pretty solid. Oh, let's use these. What is this? Oh my god, I still have to hit enter. All right, let's do it. Oh, we got it. good all right let's see what, what what else did we get um scrolls to put in here combat cool skill cool it's kind of bad i don't want it loot scrolls more of these um and actually for playing on a season character this gives you a lot Hey, we have a, a more than three mil to our name now. Nice, let's go. Got more goodies in the bank. Uh, well. I remember back in the day before these juice thingies even existed, you had to grind these the hard way. Those my old boomer days in this game. Sorry, I'm like kinda distracted. Seven day blessing and a seven day value pack. Might as well eat the value pack. I'll hold the blessing for later when you actually need it. Um, man, I hate that. The 250 for one day feels like such a bait. I don't even. I feel like I'm just. I just want to toss it. Look at all these rewards for just leveling up. That's awesome. Premium elixir box. I 
kind of want to start enhancing these Tuvala gear, but we'll figure it out later. Auto move to storage. I'm scared to press this button. Excluded item settings. Mmm, I see. I'm gonna have to set that up one day. I'll probably push to 59 tomorrow. Let me go check on Garmoth. Oh, you can't change on the season server. I heard there's double spawns, so there's gonna be like back to back Armoths, which. Sure, I think. I got really scared for a second when I saw that. I was like, I didn't bring my Nova back to Velia, did I? I was like, oh no. If I could get a Garmoth's art today, just one time for the first time ever, that would be really nice. Free 9 billion silver would be really helpful. All right, but for real though, I'm gonna need you to load in quicker just in case I don't know what percent the boss is at. You know, honestly, if I were to play another class or tag something, it would actually be Nova. I really enjoyed leveling it up. sound I've never heard before. What? I wasn't even in there. I come in at the last minute and it gives me a gun while start. Oh, I'm carried. Please? 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 No. There's another one spawn? Or oh, is that it? Dude, I love the Dragon music of Doom and Coon. It's so good. All right, boys, we're actually gonna wrap this one up and then we'll see you guys on the second episode.